everyone, welcome back. I don't normally like to start out episodes with food eating, but it's just kind of on the go pace right now. I swear this channel is not sponsored by Chick-fil-A, although I wish it was. I'm really not planning on going too far this week, but I am planning on doing a lot of fishing this week. A lot of filming, really. The last couple of years of my life, I've, I've filmed a lot of stuff for companies, uh, in the outdoor industry and then I've gone fishing and done stuff for my channel and sometimes I get caught up in doing both things in the same day. This week is just a perfect example of that. It's gonna be outside this channel filming. So the rest of this week we're gonna be doing filming for, for this channel. I'm gonna show you guys some, there's bugs. I'm sitting under a tree, bugs falling out of it. Good bluegill tree. Today is all about simply trying to figure out a lake that has been giving me fits here lately. I don't even know if we'll catch a fish, but I'm gonna try. Something bit my neck, I don't know. Something jumped up and bit me. So it's a real busy week, but I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. You know, see what's going on, you know, up in the back seat. Ride shotgun if you want to. Right now though, I gotta do this. I gotta finish this Chick-fil-A. I got burger juice, Chick-fil-A juice, on my brand new boat that I waxed. I waxed this thing up just for you guys. Although there's probably been like 2% of the episodes on this channel that actually show my boat from the outside. Most of the time, it's always on the inside. You guys are on the inside. You're the, you're the LFG insiders. So if you guys were wondering why I changed shirts, it's not because I want you to think it's a different day. It's because something I couldn't see was stinging my back. And I think it was the thing that was on my neck. There's whelps on my back. And it was like in my shirt, I had a freak out moment. I basically ripped the shirt off. I was scared to wear it again, to be quite honest with you. You ever had something like that happen? Oh, okay, we've made landfall. It's basically summer now. It's getting hot. It's in the 90s pretty much every day. These fish have got to be starting to move off the bank a little bit, at least to some nearby cover. Last time I was here, I tried flipping for like five hours and couldn't get a bite. Today, I'm gonna try that again. May sound stupid, but that was weeks ago, things can change. The shad's bone is the weird deal that keeps those fish up shallow for longer. But if, as soon as the shad move off the bank and they get out deep in their normal situation, those, those bass just move right with them. It's such a great thing because you can catch them uh, concentrated in one area. I mean, who doesn't like to catch them like that? I certainly do. But this lake is not known for its deep structure fishing. We got marinas over here. Uh, those are always a good summer area. The turtles are out, so you know they like sun. That's, that's given. Oh, and the white bass are out. Woo-hoo-wee! Y'all know what happens when the white bass are out. I don't ever turn my back on white bass. Let me know in the comments, do you turn your back on white bass or do you cast it? Who can turn their back on some white bass? Some of my best friends turn their backs on white bass. It's like being Democrat or Republican. It's two different ways of viewing it. Let's go see what we can get into, y'all. Well, I'll be honest with you, I am really surprised that tripod stayed there that whole time. <laughs> Where are you gonna be? What you gonna be doing, fish? What are we dealing with here today? The main thing is, though, I want to find out, are these fish up shallow? Are they going to stay up shallow for the month of May, going into June, and then then go do their deep thing? I just don't know. We got a nice steady 10 to 15 mile an hour wind here. i make it a little tough to flip my jigs in the right little corner area, but it also might make them bite a little better. It's about midday, like literally lunchtime, hence the Chick-fil-A. And I'm already hung on my second flip, so looks like we're heading down that path today. No, we're not. Get that negativity out of our heads right now. I might need to go to a straight, like, brush flipping bait. There's a fish. Got him. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's a good sign because he ate it like a champion. Black and blue jig in the brush. That's the bite I was looking for weeks ago. 
Got another little patch of brush right here. I'm just gonna go down the bank, hit this brush up. Oh, there's one. Got it. Oh, it came off. Oh, that's a good sign though. They might be in the brush now. It's another patch right here. A little color change in the water. Right there, switch up to the spinner bait. Get in here. Fat, 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 fat. That right there is a good example, a little bait switch. So I flipped in there multiple times with that jig, didn't get bit. That fish ate old trusty and didn't even need the trailer hook, he ate the whole thing. Reeling it through the edges, you know what he's been feeding on. Shad, shad or bluegill right now. See, it's, it's a post-spawn fish. He's got that little notch in his tail, but he's recovering nicely. He's fattening it up. Good fish. We have a pattern going. That's three little brush, isolated bush areas on this windy bank that have had fish. When you make contact, just like on a spinner bait or a crankbait. Hello. Hey. Oh, fighting a fish. Yeah, I'm fighting a fish right now. I got, I'm getting him in. Here he is. I just saw Shad get sprayed right here. They're jumping out of the water. Something, something's eating him. Now this is what I like to do on these windy days like this. If you're doing some flipping, you know, fishing is, it's not overcast. They're not exactly munching on the moving baits. I'll still throw them if it's windy, just in between these little areas. If I'm going in between docks or trees or brush like I've got today, I've got brush out in front of me, but I'm just throwing a little moving bait in between just to see if I can pick up a few extra fish. Sometimes it works out. At least fish might even be just holding on this color change with that mud coming off the bank. There's one. We got him. Well, it's a big one, too. And that's a big one. Oh, it's a good one, anyway. Come here. Got you on that old trusty baby. Oh, what are you doing? Are you up there hiding in that mud line? Definitely post spawn skinny. Y'all are revealing yourselves today. Love it. Quality 12 incher. Noted. Well, it's been a couple more hours out here. And we've got some overcast conditions that are starting to roll in and the wind is shifting a little bit i've tried some other things besides the brush just to see what's going on i haven't had much luck seems like the bluegill and the shad are up in that brush in particular the, that, that area i was in there was a lot going on i could see bass actually busting up shallow which is always good i really need to go back home and do some stuff but the traffic's going to be really bad right now so uh, I think I'm going to hold off. I'm going to fish a little bit more until the traffic dies down, and uh, I've got to get, I've got to get the kayaks rigged up. That's right. I think it's going to be the first time getting out the kayaks of the year. Uh, me and Lunkers are going to go do a little kayak action. Traffic sucks, and I certainly don't want to go sit in that right now. I'm on the lake. I might as well fish. See if we can pull out a couple of more until we head back. No fish in the calm areas. All right, I'm going to pick up old trusty. Come on, old trusty. Let's get us through the rest of the day. I know there's probably not a way that you're gonna believe me. Maybe you will, because you're a hardcore fan, but I just caught a four pounder on old trusty on the spinner bait. I looked down at my GoPro after I release it. I'm like, that's how I like to end the day. It's not, it's not on, it's not rolling. Oh God. It's terrible. It's terrible. I didn't even take a photo, so I have no evidence. You're just going to have to go on faith right there. But I caught it on this little point as I was coming down the bank. This little point right here with the wind blowing on it. And it wasn't even really that close to the bank. It was kind of off the bank a little bit. So that would have been a great one to end on, but I'm going to try to get another one. You got a big one? Come on over. You got a fishing freak right here. He's got a giant. Yoo-hoo! Begging, dude. Nice. I don't even need to catch one more fish. You guys are so good. 
you're just gonna close this video out for me. And one of the fishing freaks just came up, showed us a six and a half pounder. He said the fishing was tough. Uh, he caught that one deep though. Uh, and that fish I just had was probably suspended in about six feet of water, but there's 20 feet really close by. So it kind of got me thinking as I'm sitting here, just kind of chunking around on this point area, seeing fish kind of come through on these bait, on this bait and everything. That there might be some fish moving out deep. There's always going to be those ones that stay up shallow and feed on bluegill and everything like that. But if there's shad out deep, he said he caught it around some hybrids. So uh, I like that kind of fishing. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any big ones like that today, but at least one of you guys did. That's some balance right there. What do you think he's waiting on? <laughs> more fishing freaks at the ramp. You guys are everywhere. I saw these guys out on the lake. Mason came up here to the ramp. You guys caught a limit of crappie today. You were slaying it. Yep. Good job, man. Another fishing freak out on the water. You know, the, there was another fishing freak that caught like a six pounder out there. Wow. Today. That's he awesome. caught it out deep. So you guys were slaying crappie. I caught a few bass. Obviously didn't have as good a day as these guys, but you got anything else you want to say to the, the fishing freaks at home? No. Make every cast count, maybe? Yep. Woo, man. All right, time to head home. Oh, I saw Mason out there on those uh, bridge pilings over there where I, I caught that four pounder that you guys missed. So cool. So, so cool to see Mason excited, catching catching fish, catching a little bit of crappie. You fishing freaks made my day because I was having a tough one. It was kind of a short outing out there, but just seeing y'all out there always makes my day. So thanks. If you ever see me on the water, come by and say hi. Don't be shy. Ready to go for tomorrow. The silver bullet is going to stay here. And LFD, he's checking things. That's right, we're going to get this kayaks on board. So your truck is rigged to do double kayaks, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know, man. That thing looks a little shifty. <laughs> It'll be okay. It'll be all right. They're just dusty. Okay. They haven't been used since our Canada trip. That's true. So No rocket launchers. We got a lot of work to do here. We got this big old kayak, which this is a 14 footer. It's basically a boat. And this is a 12 right here. We're gonna use it too. And we gotta get it down. It's currently hanging in the air. And the big one's gonna go on the bottom, correct? Correct. And then uh, the yellow one's gonna go on the top. And then we'll put our rods in the cab. We got the whole family joining out here tonight. I'm oh, my mom's leaving. Lake Fork Mom's <laughs> leaving. It's all oh, of us. Oh, she's not scared though. It is all of us. It is. Andy. Look at that bump. <laughs> trying to figure out how she can get somewhere. Oh, oh how was it on the water day? It was a little better, a but little better. <laughs> um, not quite a barn burner. I was just having envisions though of Stephanie with our little baby out here while I'm doing papoose. doing tackle. Hopefully, won't be at the parents' house. Really don't like a bite out of you, but she does. You little rassle. What was that noise that you were making yesterday that she really did not like? Oh, it was a duck noise. I got a spider on It's alright. Spiders don't bite this much. These bass don't stand a chance. We're double loaded. Yeah, one more. Is that street legal? She's legal now. All right, y'all, this is the portion of the video where I gotta sign off. We gotta finish strapping this stuff down. I gotta eat, I gotta edit this, and we gotta get up and go in the morning. We're, we're meeting up at five. But hopefully we're gonna bring y'all some good action. There's definitely no lack of effort here. And if y'all are digging what's going on here on this channel, make sure to subscribe right here and hit the ding-dongs for more. It's gonna be a crazy week coming along for the adventure. See you guys on the next video.